Good morning, everybody. We're here on a Friday morning in Calgary, Alberta. We're just about to start <clears throat> our road trip to Vegas. I'm just gonna walk over to the car. It's been charging overnight. We'll jump to a clip from last night. Just look at the charging situation there. So we'll just charge the car overnight. Not a lot of people in this garage. Check out the speed here. So we're charging at 10 kilowatts and bump up the max here. Before we go close to 100, maybe let's just do 100. You can adjust it on the app. So it says it's six hours, 15 minutes. Right now it is just about midnight, so probably try to get up around that time and uh, start the road trip early. Like I said, we're going to Vegas. Um, I'll wait to plan the trip in the morning when our, our battery's fully charged up so it doesn't kind of direct us to a supercharger stop right away. Our Model S is a 2019 long range dual motor. It has uh, 67,000 kilometers. And I can change it over here to miles. You can see, so it's almost 42,000 miles. So done quite a bit of trips with this car, but this will be the first uh, longer one in a while. Okay, so we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so our charging is complete now. We're at 100%. I'm going to flip it back to kilometers just for the first few legs. So it's saying our projected range with 100% is 580 kilometers, which is pretty accurate. I think when we purchased it, we were getting 590 or 600, so we lost a little bit of range over the last two years, which is perfectly normal. We'll just check our first stop. It's gonna be uh, Utah. So we've done this trip a few times, I think three times. So we know that um, this is probably the, the most ideal spot to stop. And uh, it looks like it's gonna take us, uh, so it's 6.46 a.m. right now. So it's saying 8.41 p.m. So it's just over 14 hours, including charging. We should be able to shorten a bit. I'm not sure why it's making us go this route. There is a charger here. Uh, that's probably a better route for us. Um, so we'll put that in there. Okay, anyways, we'll figure this out on the next stop. We'll set Fort McLeod as the first stop, which we should be able to get there in about hour 40 minutes so on the trip um, we're gonna go over um, just some tips for uh, longer road trips so this trip will take probably 20 hours driving without supercharging and uh, we'll try to show a few things that might be able to help you plan your trip better uh, some apps um, and then I'm gonna attempt to do some solo car camping tonight so we'll see how that goes it'll be uh probably in that stop in in utah that i i pulled up Botello. okay so yeah it'll probably be in tremonton utah uh it's saying that it's 1047 kilometers away so we'll try to make some good time um and make a few videos uh just about the car setup on the way okay we'll see you on the road
So Tesla usually puts these chargers near some kind of amenity. This one was just a Shell gas station. But uh, usually you'll find something that's open 24 hours or be late at night to use the restroom and get a snack or two. Just got some beef turkey and uh, Red Bull here. So I'll finish up charging and then get on the road to the next stop. It's still pretty early in the morning. The weather's really good, so I should get some decent efficiency. Okay, we just got back from the uh, gas station there for a bathroom break. So we've been charging for 20 minutes, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes. We still got 20 minutes. The charging speeds had tapered off quite a bit to 37 kilowatts. We're gonna charge up a little bit more on this stop just because it'll be a longer distance to the next stop. You can see this was our last leg or the first leg of the trip, hour 40 minutes, 171 kilometers. Efficiency was pretty good. So we're looking the, uh, for our next stop here, it's in uh, Great Falls. Uh, so we're going to program that into this the computer here. So it's actually saying we're going to get there around 12.16 p.m. around lunchtime. Um, 3 hours 18 minutes, 346 kilometers. We'll look at the trip consumption graph. So this is pretty handy, especially when you're, you're going to do a longer leg like this. That's 3 hours long. Um, if we started now at 89, um, by its calculation, we should arrive at 14%. Um, this is probably assuming the uh, changes in elevation. So you can see sometimes there's um, more consumption or maybe we're re regenerating energy. Um, it also uh, accounts for probably driving around the speed limit. So if you are going, you know, five, 10 kilometers over the speed limit, then your consumption will be uh, a little bit higher. So you might end up with 10% at your destination. So it's always good to keep 15 to 20% buffer uh, for your next stop, uh, just in case of any uh, changes in um, you know, what the computer is calculating. It might not be perfectly accurate. Uh, we've done this trip um, three times before, and um, this supercharger in Great Falls is actually new, so we've never been to this one. Uh, we went back in 2019 when there was no supercharger, so Actually, it makes the trip a lot easier because we used to have to uh, go to, not that one actually, so we used to have to go to Butte, Montana, uh, which is actually 421 kilometers away. And we didn't have the range um, usually because of the, um, it was in colder weather. So we had to stop uh, midway and we actually stopped at a hotel in Great Falls to do a uh, uh, destination charger so we did that overnight so the addition of these two superchargers in Great Falls and the next one that was added was Helena Montana those have been um, recently added in 2021 I believe so makes the trip a lot easier there is still quite a gap here for this leg um, so this is probably the only times where you won't see a charger you know within um, 100 miles or say 150 kilometers or so so yeah, um, we'll cross the border in Coots, uh, somewhere around here. Yeah, around there. Looks like there's not too much traffic at the border. Hopefully that's smooth. The travel requirements right now are, um, you don't need a COVID test if you are fully vaccinated. So as long as you show that, I think we should be okay. Um, so close the ch charging map here. So. Yeah, now we're at 16% buffer when we arrive, so probably wait until 20 or so, and then we'll continue on our way. One more thing before we go, um, since the battery is almost charged up here, it's actually going to be able to display the correct route to our intended stop tonight. So I'd like to get to Tremonton, Utah. Uh, that'll be at 8.21, so we start around 7 a.m. That'll be probably 13 and a half hours by the, the Tesla's calculation. So it looks like it's saying there's uh, after Great Falls and a 25 minute charge, then there's Butte, uh, another charge there, 20 minutes. Lima would be 40 minutes, um, but probably just squeeze in another one in between there instead of waiting the full 40 minutes. Uh, and then the last stop, Tremontan. I'm gonna try to camp in the car uh, tonight 
So uh, I've been there before. It's a pretty safe hotel. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll set up the, the the sleeping arrangement somewhere, one of these stops. And then uh, when we get to Tremont in, then we'll just have to quickly charge before uh, go to bed. And then uh, yeah, we'll take a look at everything in one of the next few stops. So just wanted to look at that before we head out on the next leg of the trip. Okay. Just arrived at the border here. There's only a couple uh, bikers in front of us. Should be pretty quick. Since we're going to the States, I'm actually going to change our display to miles so we can follow along with the right posted speed limits. Definitely for anything that has a digital display, it's easy to switch between miles an hour, miles per hour, and kilometers an hour. So says we have 119 miles left so an hour 43 to great falls should be there pretty much where it said we would be at 12 34 pm probably grab some lunch and then uh, get a full charge there Okay, so we've arrived here at Great Falls. We drove 217 miles and uh, arrived here with 17% state of charge. So it's pretty much what uh, what the graph was showing us if you look here. So we did really well for two thirds of the trip and then picked up the speed a little bit when we got closer to, uh, just to use up some of the, the remaining charge. So here we are, um, there's a few restaurants around, so we'll probably go grab some lunch. So here's our destination for tonight. Our target's to get to Tremontin, Utah. So it's still saying 8.44, I think we had 8.20 before, so a little bit slower. It's suggesting that our next charging stop is Butte, Montana, 150 miles away. So we'll have to charge for 25 minutes. We'll probably charge even more than that. So um, yeah, we'll come back when the charging's done.
Okay, so I'm back in the car now. Uh, I just ate at that Japanese ramen place across the street. Uh, the car is just finished charging to 90%, so it kind of worked out good. Um, you probably noticed that I'm actually driving alone, so uh, no wife or kid here. Um, they're going to be meeting me in Vegas. They're taking a flight tomorrow afternoon. So my goal is to make it two-thirds of the way today and then do the rest uh, early in the morning. So I should be able to get into Vegas um, around 2, 3 p.m. tomorrow, I'm hoping. And then their flight gets in at 5 p.m. So I uh, should get on the road. Uh, I'll do a couple more videos in the next stops when I have a bit more time. And uh, you'll be able to see the car set up. And then uh, eventually I'll be setting up the, uh, the mattress in the back to see if I can camp out uh, in the car tonight. Okay. Okay, so uh, first for me, uh, after driving a Tesla for three years almost, the power was out at one of the superchargers. So I arrived in Butte and I tried plugging in, but uh, I didn't get anything, not even an error code. So uh, I went into the hotel and all the lights were out and just the emergency power was on. So I waited for a bit to see if it would come back. Um, and then I got on the plug share app to see if there was any nearby fast chargers or any chargers. The only one I found was uh, where I am now is at a Ford dealership. So um, I'll show you guys in a sec, but uh, plugged in here, uh, asked the mechanic if he knew it was okay to charge here. Uh, he didn't know, so I just stayed. Um, we're pulling eight kilowatts, so should be okay to charge just until the supercharger is up. Um, otherwise, um, we'll have to stay here for two hours to get to our next stop to, to make it there. Okay, so like I said, I was trying to charge at the Butte Supercharger, but the power was out. So I stopped here. It's only one or two miles away from the Supercharger. This is, uh, this is a Ford dealership. So we'll keep checking the app to see if the uh, Supercharger is back up. Okay, so I'm back at the Butte Supercharger. It was out for about an hour. Picked up a few kilowatts over at four, but now we're back here charging at uh, 140 kilowatts. So it should only be here for 20 more minutes and then we'll be on to our next stop. So we'll look at the trip plan now. Okay, so with that little delay, we're gonna be in uh, our last stop for the night around 10 p.m., which is still okay. Um, we only need to charge 15 more minutes, it says. Probably give it a little bit more than that, just in case. Um, yeah, so we'll stop in Lima. Uh, Pocatello is another good charger there, so I'll stop there. And then, uh, yeah, so it's uh, 4.30. 
So we got about five and a half more hours before we get to our destination. An update for the trip. We've been on the road since 7 a.m. So that's uh, nine and a half hours. We've covered 477 miles, not too bad. And the efficiency's been pretty steady at 316 watt hours per mile. Okay, we've arrived here in Lima, Montana for a 25 minute charge. Plug in. Okay. Starting a charge, so I'll probably organize the, the trunk in the back during this stop. Here's the back seat and the trunk. So I'm gonna move these luggages somewhere in the car so I can set up the mattress on the fold down seat. Okay, we've made it to our last charging stop before the uh, overnight stay at the hotel in the car. So we are only 97 miles from Tremonton. We only need a quick uh, 15 minute charge. I just grabbed a quick uh, 
Burger King meal. Chicken sandwich, something quick so they don't have to take too long. Okay, should be at the hotel in the next stop. Okay, we made it. So we're at uh, Tremontan. It is 10.20 p.m. So from the original estimate this morning, about two hours off, a few delays along the way. Take a look at the parking lot hotel situation. I didn't have a chance to film last night when I got in. This is a Hampton Inn. So pretty quiet. There's uh, six chargers here. These are version two chargers. So what I did was I charged up last night after the, the drive. It's always better to charge uh, the night you get into your destination. The reason being is the battery is already warm, so it'll charge at a higher rate right away. If you wait till the next morning and your battery gets cold, then uh, it'll spend some time warming up the battery before it gets full uh, charging rate. So. Try to do that. Uh, oh, there's a Model Y. Try to do that uh, whenever you're um, planning your trips. It's just charged when you get into your destination. So I did some, uh, as I said, I did some solo uh, stealth camping around the corner. It looks pretty much the same as this side. Uh, just a little less traffic, so I went around the back side. Um, our Model S has 20% uh, tint. So we did the front, rear, and then the back window I think is even 5% uh, tint. So really it's difficult to see into the car. So it's pretty good for, for stealth camping or, or camping anywhere is uh, a little bit of privacy. Um, I did a simpler setup for this trip since it was just myself. I was expecting to be able to blow up this uh, air mattress if you can see it. Um, but it's a little bit too wide, so when it uh, was fully inflated, it would have been too wide for that opening of just the 60-40 split. So I did the 60% side uh, split fold seats. And then I just got a, uh, a light sleeping bag, so it's a 5 degree bag uh, instead of a, a heavier one. Just because I have camp mode. The camp mode last night only consumed about 6% state of charge. Um, so just because it was the, the temperature outside was fairly warm so you'll probably find that if it's colder it'll use more um, right so we're just topping up what we used up uh, and we'll be on our way so we'll look at the trip computer I'll probably make uh, another update of the, the stealth camping setup for next uh, trip with a better uh, mattress underlay but we'll be on our way to Vegas. Should be there around noon, noon or just afternoon today, hopefully. Okay, so we're on to the second day of our trip. Day one, we drove 826 miles, so not too bad. So we'll put into the trip computer here with our hotel. So saying right now with our state of charge at 83% that we should now have two stops. Nephi for 20 minutes and then Cedar City for 20 minutes. The total drive is just under 500 miles. Okay, so charge for a few more minutes and then get on the road.
Okay, so we're in our last charging stop. We're gonna charge up near full, uh, just so we don't have to charge right when we get to Vegas. We are on the last 167 miles of the trip, two and a half hours. We're in Cedar City right now. We'll be passing by St. George, Utah, Mesquite, and then the Malapa Valley and the Valley of Fire State Park. So it'll be a pretty scenic drive. And then uh, into Vegas for the stop.